Hello traders, good morning. Welcome to this video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. Before we take a look at the markets, I wanted to let you know that we have a new uh, partnered broker, trusted broker, Key2 Markets. Check it out. Uh, there's an advantage if you are looking for a broker and open, verify, and fund an account through Elite Currency that you'll get access to SWAT 2.0, the newest one. So that could be a good motivation. Uh, for you to start an account with key to markets of course only if you are interested and in, in looking for a broker uh, but this is a new partner broker that we're working with now so uh, maybe a good reason uh, to start now all right let's take a look at the markets your dollar daily chart we got a bullish bounce uh, sooner than i expected i uh, was leading towards a bearish continuation towards support that did not happen we actually had a bounce at the 21 EMA, which took me by surprise. Uh, I did expect a bullish bounce, but at the bottom of the range, uh, and uh, I expected a bear flag. So I was off on that, and I think that actually the bullish bounce is indicating uh, that the overall structure is probably bullish. That said, even though I've switched my view from bearish to bullish, I don't think that the break will happen that quickly. And of course, the most important thing is for you know the most important factor will be a break of the range either direction uh, whether that break will be down or up uh, the most important is the break and uh, we also have to be careful of false breaks so good candle closes uh, that said this bullish momentum as one of our YouTube uh, commentaries uh, comments from the previous video said uh, is the last kind of momentum that is dominating at this moment I would say so we have bullish momentum here, we have an ABC bullish momentum, and then again a higher low, uh, then a lower high. So getting into some kind of a range in, in, or a triangle in this case. But maybe uh, we should pay attention to mostly the fact that here's a bullish momentum followed by an ABC, and then again a bullish momentum. So I would agree that uh, for the moment the bulls are probably slightly in control. Specifically also this quick bounce back up is indicating that, that the bulls are... Uh, stepping in at higher prices or buying at higher prices making kind of a ascending wedge chart pattern as well by the way a very slight one but uh it's there uh so let's see if it breaks this uh, head and shoulders pattern we also had an inverted head and shoulders pattern here so we have head and shoulders patterns to both directions and uh, let's see if we can get that the breakout and dash up to the 78.65 which is the main target we had a move up uh, to the 61.8 target here at 111.70, the 78.6 target is a bit higher, of course, at around 113.10. Very uh, difficult, choppy chart. Uh, you know, we had a very nice, smooth run down, followed by a lot of momentum back up and down, uh, like a heartbeat here. Uh, this is very, uh, yeah, very difficult to trade and very difficult to analyze. But ultimately, if we zoom out maybe to the to weekly chart, uh, we can see that price hit 88.6 fib here. There we go. And uh, also might have completed five waves down. One, two, uh, three, uh, four, five. So maybe we'll get a bigger ABC pattern back up again. Um, if we get a push above 113.50, of course. And a move maybe into let's put the fib on the other direction then or we can use these fibs maybe the 50 fib here 60 with 61.8 78 all the way up and retrace this swing so basically get a retracement like that which of course could be a resistance spot for another move down again uh, so yeah so that's basically the longer picture what i wanted to show is that maybe five waves completed as i mentioned already in the past all right down to the four hour chart uh, we're getting a bounce at the previous tops, of course, but at the moment, it looks like buyers are stepping in higher, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get a break uh, maybe later next week or maybe even this week. Let's see. Uh, but I, at the moment, I think that the next attempt will not succeed is my bet. I would say a retest of the 144 May is more likely at this moment than a retest of the support trend line first. So I don't think it's going to break now. I think it will move up, fade, hit the hit the support, and then bounce up again and retest it again. And that might break. That might happen next week. Uh, although even that one could fail. Uh, really, the key thing is a daily breakout above these levels here at 110. 
but uh, certainly for the moment, I think a push up and down and then up seems the most likely. Of course, if it does push through the support trend line, we might get that bigger breakout towards the previous bottom. Uh, but primarily, daily candle uh, above 110 is important. All right. Pound USD. Uh, so I was leaning towards this being a bear flag, but when price pushed above the 21 EMA for the second time and the 144 EMA and a fractal above the 144 EMA broke through that, uh, it switched from being a bear flag to being a base for a next rally up. And that's what happened. Uh, and we see that price pushing uh, through uh, these moving averages and making a nice impulse right up to the 55. Now, we did discuss that if we get a break of this trend line, that that could happen. We had a bounce at the 38. The next target will be the 55. And you can see indeed how sweetly and swiftly it moved up to that 55 after we had a break of both of those moving averages. And we didn't have a breakthrough. These fractals, which were key uh, support for breakout to the downside, that didn't happen. So we did get a, a bigger ABC. It didn't seem likely at this point. But after the break, that uh, was a reality or, or something that was very likely. And I mentioned also in the previous video that that could happen to the 55th. That ABC is behind us now. Is it finished? I'm not sure at this moment because the momentum is quite strong. And um, I think that more upside is probably likely at this moment. And uh, we can go up to the 61 or 78.6 fib, I think, for the moment. We have higher highs, higher lows. We're above the 144 EMA on the 4-hour. We're above the 21 on the 4-hour. Uh, looking at the 1-hour chart, it looks more like a wave 3, maybe. Uh, so if it uh, breaks above this fractal here at 123.46, there could be a breakout up to the 61.5 fib and with 7 at 124.25, 124.37, as you can see. So as long as it stays above this uh, this 21 EMA, if it breaks through with 5, then there could be a move back uh, to the 144 EMA and uh, maybe even further. Uh, but if it makes a flag of, or yeah, flag or triangle pattern like that and continues to go sideways and then breaks, uh, likely that this is not a wave C but a wave 3, 4, 5, and there should be a continuation higher um, towards that those fibs I mentioned on the 4-hour chart, 61 and 78.6 fib. Together with the with 6, and do it seven. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for joining. Once again, if you're uh, interested in SWOT 2.0, uh, basically includes uh, 74 videos, 22 plus hours, uh, three different approaches, 10 different strategies, uh, lots of new indicators, and uh, lots of education and lots of information about moving averages, fibs, and fractals. And it's for free if you start an account, verify and fund an account, and start trading. Uh, um, so with the KTM, Key to Markets, our new partner broker there. So uh, if you're interested, check it out. Otherwise, wish you all great trading. Cheers. Bye-bye.